My name is Brendan McWalters and I'm from San Francisco. It's a joy and a pleasure to be here in Boston. I think it was five years ago they had the overnight in San Francisco. I, I really related to it. I was at the time still very actively thinking and planning about about how to kill myself. And, and when I heard the, the way the chorus was was uh, was set up in the ad about how we walked out of the darkness and in, in, into a solution, into a way where we didn't have to think like that anymore, I I really knew that was what I really wanted in my life. <laughs> It makes me feel good inside. My son, uh, it's been four and a half years since he's uh, died death by suicide. And it really helps me knowing that I'm trying to help somebody else. Participating in the overnight walk is wonderful, not only because we, we raise funds for important research, but the conversations that we have uh, with our friends, with our families, with our colleagues in the months leading up is simply invaluable. It's, it's sharing. Uh, sharing is healing. And we share our story with, um, with other parents, other siblings, uh, friends who have lost uh, loved ones. And uh, through sharing, we heal. It's very moving. It's. Uh... You know, the walk is a, a one-of-a-kind experience. People come here from all over the country and a lot, of, uh, a lot of emotion with them and a lot of purpose and a lot of passion. It's very moving to be here. I just, I always take the bunny with me. He was my baby bunny. It was just kind of a little thing that we had. So um, the night he left me, and they had me pack up stuff. This is, I grabbed him and I sleep with him and he goes to my purse and he goes to work with me every day and he definitely went on my motorcycle ride. Uh, the mood's been fantastic. It's a lot of support. I lost my son a month ago, so for me it's, it's overwhelming as far as the, talking to the various people. And that's what I came here for, is to gain some type of support structure because it's been so, so soon healing on so many levels. I think I have seen the stigma um, change, but I think it's because it's taken me to get involved. I think it really brings everybody together and brings the situation to light because it's such a taboo subject and everybody's kind of uneasy about talking about it, but it makes it easier. I thought it was fantastic. Great experience, met a lot of people. She had a lot of stories. We got some high fives. We got a few high fives. Yeah. Everybody's been streets. supportive. Yeah, the random people on the street. Everybody's we got high fives. Fun. In my in my journey of grief, and there's so many others like me out there. Uh, we bond together. We form friendships through this, uh, and I'm sure they're going to be lifetime friendships. And uh, it just makes me feel a little bit better to be among people who understand what I'm going through. The only thing that's felt right since his death was actually doing this walk and, and taking this journey here. 
We meet so many people that are willing to talk now and before when we first started this nobody would talk about it and uh, it's and especially here it's just like everybody talks all night everybody cries all night with you. It's just an amazing journey. And then you're coming up to the end and there are all these people you don't even know cheering you on and thanking you and it's just a rush of emotion and you just you know you feel like you made a difference to somebody other than the people that you know. One of the things that I would compare coming to the walks is if you dropped a glass on the on the concrete floor, it shatters in so many different pieces. What this walk means to us is coming here, we're able to take those pieces and start putting things back together. And the motivation for us is all the wonderful people here. It's an extraordinarily supportive group. Suicide uh, doesn't discriminate. We're all in this together. Thank you.